is Amber Kilman, and this is for my exercise special population class at Cal Baptist University. Today we're going to be going over blood pressure, skin fold measurements, waist and hip measurements, the YMCA sit and reach, and flexibility with the goniometer. So first thing we're going to do with my test subject Christian is the blood pressure. So with the blood pressure, you want to line it up right here where the brachial artery is. This is where I found his brachial artery. So you're going to line up right above the brachial artery. And then what you're going to do, I'm going to have my stethoscope so I can listen to the brachial artery as we pump up the blood pressure cuff. So you're going to see on the monitor that it's going to go up and I'm going to go up to about 160. So I'm going to go ahead and pump it up all the way up to 160. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my stethoscope right here and listen and slowly release air. And we're good. All right, so the blood pressure that I got was 114 over 69. So what you first hear is the sy sy systolic blood pressure, which is the first part of the heartbeat that you hear. And then the last part is the diastolic blood pressure, which is the last that you hear from the heart beating. So Christian, if you can go ahead and come over here. Yep. So we are going to go ahead and do the skin caliber, skin fold for body fat test. We're going to measure the chest, abdomen, and thigh. So I already pre-marked where we're going to be doing the measurement at. So what you want to measure is between the armpit fold and the nipple line. So it was right here in between those two. And then you're going to do a three inch pinch and you're going to pull. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the measurement right here, which is about, about one inch. I mean, no, about three fourths? About, about close to one and a half inches. So now I'm gonna go to the abdomen so what you want to do is you want to measure about two centimeters away from the belly button and I went ahead and marked it right there. You don't want to go inside the belly button because you don't want to cause any damage. So you're going to go right here just outside it and you're going to do another three inch pinch pull and that measurement is about right at the 20 mil millimeter mark. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the thigh. So what you want to do is you want to measure right here where the hip bone is to about the knee. So right around the pelvis area. So you want to do it about halfway in between there and that's where that mark is. So another three inch pinch and pull. And we're going to get about one inch on the measurement right there. So now we're going to go ahead and measure his hip and waist. So I have this handy dandy little fabric measurement right here. So we're going to measure in inches. So you want to go ahead and wrap it around him. You want to measure where the lowest part of the waist is. So that's about right here. You're going to go ahead and hug it, bring it around. And he is about 41 inches in his waist. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the hip. You want to get the biggest part of the hip waist or the hip measurement, which is about right here. So you're going to go ahead and take it and you're going to hug it behind him. Make sure it's not tangled. 
So about right here. And you're gonna go ahead and bring it around. And he's at about 47 inches on his waist. So Christian, you can go ahead and put your shirt back on. Mm -hmm. So the next thing we are going to do is the YMCA sit and reach test. So what you wanna do is you wanna mark about 15 inches right here on the measurement tape. And he's gonna sit his feet on both sides, right? And have the tape measure right in between. So go ahead and take a seat, Christian. Is this one? Yep. Mm. <clears throat> so that's where you wanna be for the YMCA sit and reach. So Christian, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have both hands just like that. You're gonna go as far as you can having your hands go along the tape and we're going to do it three times make sure you try to hold it so then that way we can get a proper measurement okay are right, you ready for your first try yes all right go ahead and go all right good he got it to about 14 and a half nice so go ahead and go back take like a five second break and when you're ready we're going to go ahead and do it again Ready? All right, let's go ahead and do it again. Good, about 15 and a half. Mm. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do it one more time so when you're ready. Good, 16 and a half. Nice job, Christian. Thank you. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you lay over here on the rug. And I need you to lay flat and looking straight up at the ceiling. All right, so now we are going to be measuring his flexibility with this little contraption, which is called the goniometer. So you want to place the big circle part of the goniometer right about at the joint. So we're going to be doing his shoulder, his elbow, his hip, and his knee to check for flexibility. So Christian, we're going to go ahead and have you do your shoulder first. So what I want you to do is I want you to go straight back and then once you start to struggle, I want you to stop. I'm gonna go ahead and have it placed right at his, right at his shoulder joint, about right here. And then when you're ready, I'm gonna have you go up. Okay, are you ready? Yes. All right, make sure you look, keep looking straight up at the ceiling. One, two, three, go. Good. So he was pretty close to, he was right in between 170 and 160, so it's about 165 right there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do your elbow. So same thing, just lift it straight up as far as you can, and once you start struggling, that's when I want you to stop. All right, so I'm gonna be right here at his elbow joint, okay? So go ahead and when you're ready, start lifting. Good. So he was about no, it's up here. I right, sixty-five right there. I mean no fifty-five. Fifty-five, I'm sorry. Alright, so Christian, so now we're gonna do your hip. And I want you to bring your hip up just like this. And then when you can't do it anymore, just hold your leg just like this, so around your knee. So then that way we can get that proper measurement. Okay. Hey, right, so you want to have it about where the hip joint is, right here. Hey, right, when you're ready, go ahead and lift your hip. So about right there. So that is about... 152, I mean not 152, 52 right there. All right, so last thing we're gonna do is your knee. So same thing, you're just gonna lift your knee just like this, as high as you can. And when you start to struggle is when I want you to stop. Keep okay? Foot on the carpet. Yep, keep your foot on the carpet. Oh. All right, are you ready? Yep. All right, and go. So you are about 
63. Yep, 63. All right. Nice job, Christian. You can go ahead and stand up. So today we went over the blood pressure measurement. We went over the body fat flight with the skin calibers. We went over the waist measurement, the hip measurement. We went over the YMCA sit and reach. And then we, we went over flexibility using the goniometer. So I hope this helped everybody understand what to do with these different tools. And we hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.